Hello and welcome to this Monday, Thursday edition of this Holy Week Daily Office. I'm Scott Corwin, pastor of the International Baptist Church, and we're practicing some slowed down focus on a text of scripture from the last week of Jesus' life. And today is Monday, Thursday. If you, like me, are wondering what Monday means, it comes from the Latin mandate, meaning command. And it commemorates the commands of Jesus on this day where Jesus was in the upper room with his disciples and he instituted the Lord's Supper and he washed his disciples' feet. In addition, he invited Peter, James, and John to pray with him in the Garden of Gethsemane before his arrest. Lots of things happened on this Thursday night, the eve of Good Friday the crucifixion of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So on this day, what we'll do is we'll pause, we'll slow down, practice some silence and solitude, meditating on Scripture as well as on an image that invites us into the experiences of those first disciples in this last week of Jesus' earthly life. We'll do so practicing silence, looking at an image as well as a Scripture, and considering some ways that we might respond in obedience to the mondi, the mandate, the commands of our Lord Jesus Christ. So as we begin, let's begin with this invocation and then we'll pause for silence to enter into God's presence. Will you let me be your servant? Let me be as Christ to you? We pause now in silence, focusing our senses on the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, and God our Father. Amen. Today's psalm is 116. I love the Lord, for he heard my voice. He heard my cry for mercy. Because he turned his ear to me, I will call on him as long as I live. The cords of death entangled me. The anguish of the grave came over me. I was overcome by distress and sorrow. Then I called on the name of the Lord. Lord, save me. The Lord is gracious and righteous. Our God is full of compassion. The Lord protects the unwary. When I was brought low, he saved me. Our reflections today are on that upper room where Jesus washes his disciples' feet from John chapter 13, verses 1 through 5. Let's read that passage together slowly, letting the truths of these words sink deep into our hearts that moves us to obey, focusing our mind on the truth that changes our living. Let's read this text it was just before the Passover festival. Jesus knew that the hour had come for him to leave this world and go to the Father. Having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. 
The evening meal was in progress, and the devil had already prompted Judas, the son of Simon Iscariot, to betray Jesus. Jesus knew that the Father had put all things under his power and that he had come from God and was returning to God. So he got up from the meal, took off his outer clothing, and wrapped a towel around his waist. After that, he poured water into a basin and began to wash his disciples' feet, drying them with the towel that was wrapped around him. This is the word of the Lord. To help us focus our thoughts on this particular text, we'll do so by looking at these images. The seal that you see is the Monday Thursday seal, and the loaf and chalice, of course, symbolize the bread and wine of communion, the Lord's Supper, and the basin and the pitcher symbolize the washing of feet. Across the bottom, you'll see the Greek word agapate, and that, of course, refers to the mandate, the command of Jesus to love one another. A new command it is because Jesus himself is the standard of our love. There are puppies that surround the image, and those symbolize the 13 people who were present at the Last Supper. And as we look at this image, as well as the bowl and the towel, we're invited to contemplate our own practices of love and service to others. So let's pause for another moment to reflect on these images, allowing the Spirit to deepen our experience of God's truth. Amen. As we reflect on these truths, a couple of practices to consider come to mind. Perhaps today is a day that you might choose to serve someone in an extraordinary way, someone in need, perhaps someone in your own household, someone in your place of work, or perhaps you might consider praying for an hour with Jesus in the middle of the night to commemorate Jesus' invitation to his disciples to pray with him. As we consider these ways of being obedient to the command to love one another the way that Jesus has loved us, we move into the day with this following benediction. Go before us, God, that we may follow in your steps. Go behind us, God, to steer us when we stray. Go beside us, God, as our strength and our joy for the journey. Amen. I hope you have a blessed Monday Thursday as we move toward the crucifixion and the resurrection. Easter Sunday, preceded by Good Friday. I'll join you tomorrow as well. Thanks for being a part of this daily office. <music>